Hi, my name is Abdullah, and my teammates are Rally, Christina, Derek, and Rayon. This summer, our Data Plus research project explores different techniques of machine learning on brain computer interface applications. Our research focuses on brain computer interfaces, or BCIs, which are devices that interpret an individual's brain signals and translate them into commands that control an external device. Specifically, we work with the P300-based BCI speller. To spell a character, a user looks at a screen of characters, such as the one shown here, and focuses on a target character, while groups are sequentially flashed. The illumination of a target character elicits a P300 event-related potential, otherwise known as ERP. The BCI analyzes the brain signals as a response to a stimulus with a machine learning classifier to detect ERPs and discerns the user's intent by matching the detected ERPs to the character presentation pattern. Traditionally, the BCI machine learning model is trained on data collected from the BCI user during a calibration phase. Generic deep learning models trained on data from other BCI users can be leveraged to reduce BCI calibration time. Deep learning models require large amounts of data for training. However, there are limited BCI data available from target BCI end users, such as individuals with ALS. While a large amount of BCI data from the general population are available for transfer learning, cross-domain differences limit knowledge transfer between populations. In this study, we investigate the impact of the data domain on learning a generalized P300 classifier for individuals with ALS. Transfer learning involves pre-training to attain a baseline model and fine-tuning to specialize the model. In our case, we use a large diverse P300 speller dataset that includes data from individuals with and without ALS. The three data domains for model training include subject specific, which is data from the target ALS subject, within domain, which is data from individuals with ALS, excluding data from the target ALS subject, and cross domain, which is data from individuals without ALS. For target character estimation, we use the Bayesian algorithm, a probabilistic character scoring function. We explored various combinations of classifier and stopping criterion. The classifier options include stepwise linear discriminant analysis, a traditional machine learning model, and EEGNet, a deep learning model. The amount of data collection prior to character selection was either static or dynamically determined. After simulating BCI spelling with EEG data, we analyzed the within subject changes in performance across the various conditions. We confirmed prior findings that show a dynamic stopping criterion significantly reduces spelling time while maintaining comparable accuracy. When looking at character accuracy, generic EEGNet models trained on data from individuals without ALS performed poorly compared to models trained on subject-specific data, highlighting a limitation of cross-domain transfer learning. Lastly, we found that the generic EEG net models trained on other individuals with ALS performed comparably or better than models trained on subject-specific data, highlighting a benefit of within-domain transfer learning. Overall, we showed that the BCI calibration time can be reduced with generic deep learning models trained on data from the target BCI end user population. In the future, we hope to improve transfer learning with enhanced feature pre-processing and alternative learning strategies. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed our presentation.